Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today, I do not have power. The lights are out. And I'm in, well, semi-darkness. There's no sun, as you can see. No sunshine. So, what happened? Well, let me show you the inverter for starters. The inverter is black, dark, nothing. And the battery is missing. You see the battery cables on the floor. And you can see the battery enclosure. There's nothing inside. It is empty. And that's the case. You see the... That's to make it waterproof. So it's IP65, this enclosure. And then here are my modules. There are four of them. Um, the challenge we've had with these modules is three have the same firmware and one does not. So what happens is, as they start to charge, uh, you see one at 98% while the others are 60 some odd percent. And then what that does is it reduces the charge current to the to what the uh, battery with the highest uh, voltage, with the highest capacity says. So once it gets past 90%, it drops to a total combined of 40 amps or 20 amps per module. And at one point it gets to 10 amps, which is um, 40 amps in total. Meanwhile, these will still allow um, 30 amps, 40 amps charge, 40 amps charge, but not 40 amps discharge. 40 times 3 is 120. No, so 30 amps. 30 times 4 is 120. Yes. So this was, these are still allowing 30 amps, while this is only allowing 10. That's not all. When it discharges as well, it discharges at a much lower. Um, that one battery doesn't discharge as fast as the other. So it's created a problem for us where we have fake capacity. We have 100% on one module and then we don't quite have it on the others. And as it discharges, you see one that's at 70% while the others are 40 or 50%. And then it tells you your state of charge is 50%. So what, the farm, what we're doing now is through uh, the tech in China is actually logged into the batteries. He's updating the firmware on each one. And once he's done, we hope we'll have the same firmware and all of it, and then they'll try to balance themselves as a charge. So let me show you what is going on. So he's logged in remotely. You can see the mouse moving. And he's, he's well, the reason why I didn't want to do this is because they um, is in Chinese, and I did not, I don't know how to read Chinese, which is sad. So he is updating the firmware. Um, he knows what, what packets to look for. And then he reads the packets and then he downloads them onto the module itself. The first one failed. Um, so we had to stop the first one. He's now doing it to the second one. And when he's done, we'll go to the third and the fourth. Sorry about that. The phone has this habit of ringing when you don't ask it to ring, but it's business, so. Um, that's it. So once the update is done, we'll show you um, the results, and then we'll put the batteries back into the enclosure, and then we'll power the house again. Hey, YouTube. Okay, so here's the last module that hasn't gone in. And we'll put in, here's module number, number three and four are in. Shine the light in the no, that's three and four here. And then this is number two, two. And then number one is going to go on top of it and then we'll do all our connections and then we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, um, once everything is buttoned back up, I will do another video to show you it in action and then I'll show you how we monitor the individual cells. But wait, there's more. I promised you that I'll show you the individual cell monitoring. So here is module number one. You could see the voltage of the individual cells. And then you could see the voltage. You could see the current that's being uh, taken out. I think, yes, the batteries are discharging. So 0.7 amps. And then the difference, the max cell voltage, 3282 millivolts, and then 3280 is the minimum. So this is at 42%. This here, as you can see, is at 49, and it's pulling 1.4 amps. Before, this will be pulling less than the others. So it's trying to discharge this faster. You see, this is 1.7, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1
1.3, that's different. Now, before this would be either discharging at the same level or, no, this would be discharging at the same level or actually a slower level than the others. This is 1.1, ah, maybe I spoke too soon. This is 49, this is 42, and this is 0 0.7, 0 0.9 amps. So the difference between the cells is not really that high. Um, the voltage should be about the same, 49.15, 49.15, 49.21. So that's the one that has the higher capacity. And then 49.21, which is number one. Okay, so what they've told me is we have to wait this to fully charge to 100% before we, um, we have to wait for it to charge fully to 100% for the BMS to try and balance the cells before we review this. So this was the part that I didn't include when I ended the video. So thank you for watching. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So you see those red lights? Well, I wasn't seeing those before. So that's something different now. The red lights that were appearing, I wasn't, the red, um, you know, the red columns that were appearing to show you it's, um, something to worry about that wasn't happening before so it's good to finally see something like that